Welcome to the Treasures of Jamaica Plain. Don't have the card. The security yeah, system is active. active. You have to find the card. Present your identification. This is certainly an unexpected amount of security. I don't suppose a real treasure actually exists? See if he had anything worth taking. All right. This is certainly an unexpected amount of security. Real Grab anything useful. Over here. Right. Move here. Right away, sir. No way I'm cracking this.
imagine there's not many to view these items as treasure anymore these days. Welcome to the treasures of Jamaica Plain. Within the walls of this time capsule, you, our descendants, will find the items and mementos we treasured in the year 2077. To you, 200 years in the future, these relics may seem quaint, but we hope that they will remind you of our place in history and your own. As we laid the foundation for the world in which you live, so you too will lay a foundation for future generations. May that future be bright. On behalf of all of us in 2077, we wish you well. This is Mayor Alyssa Park speaking for the town of Jamaica Plain.
this.
Ханой! Good night. 
Many thanks for that timely rescue. You're welcome. As gracious as you are brave. Yes, well, <clears throat> in any event, I'm quite grateful. I'd like you to have this. Now, if you'll excuse me, I think it's time I left this awful place. I'm returning to WRVR and resuming my career in radio. Diamond City. I suppose I hope to find one of a gem in a dusty home base. Piper, you're back. Civilization in the rough. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall. 
if you want it. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? My favorite ballpark's become a shanty town. So, today's been great. Interesting you mentioning that. Seeing as you're from a vault. Yeah, you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the Pip-Boy and that fish-out-of-water look? Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. Oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other. Oh my god, the smell. Okay. Well, that's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now, I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna get Diamond City plenty to talk about. Look, about your son. I didn't know if you were on the up and up before, didn't want to waste my friend's time, but I think he can help you. His name's Nick Valentine, a detective extraordinaire. Got an office here in Diamond City. Just look for the neon sign with the heart in it. Thanks, Piper. I'll talk to him. He'll like you. He's got a soft spot for the hard luck cases. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Sir, if I might bend your ear for a moment. Of course, go right ahead. <laughs> so gracious, sir, I do appreciate it. I've always had such admiration for you and your family, ever since the day my visual senses were first switched on. You and the missus, so good with young Sean, and so trusting of me to look after such a newborn bundle of joy. It just warms my nuclear core. So, you can imagine the distress I felt when the bombs fell after you fled to the vault. I searched but found no evidence of your death. I could only hope you all made it in time. And when you returned, I was overjoyed. I admit I ran a full diagnostic scan just to make sure I wasn't malfunctioning. <laughs> but the news... The news of the Mrs. and Sean. Believe me when I say it takes a true hero to live through that. I'm no hero, Codsworth. Believe me. Don't sell yourself short, sir. In such a bleak world as this, think of all you've witnessed and all you've done. In my 200 years, I've seen it tear good men and women apart. But you, sir, you have remained the very model of what humanity should aspire to be. Thank you, Cotsworth. That means a lot. No thanks necessary, sir. I wouldn't hear of it. I truly believe if the Commonwealth is to turn itself around, 
You're the one to do it. Now, not another word. I stand firm in my belief. Let's get back to it. Most folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. Oh, wow. They're tall. What is one of those things? It's that secretary of his. Her and her. Money. Money. She must go up. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. What are you saying? It's all Money. in she must go up. Yes? Shan, what have I told you about keeping the lake clean? Don't make me shut down this little stand of yours. Every drop of water that comes out of that filter is one hundred percent clean. Why do you do it? Myself, always want to be absolutely by city regulation. It's a health hazard, Shan. Excuse me. Everybody, everybody. Don't touch the paint. I need everyone's attention. I would like what? To Why? This is the war. The great green guardian that keeps out the bad guys. Uh, no one's broken through the wall. Never. The least we can do for her in return is keep her looking pristine. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? Depends on what it is. You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint, and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged. We will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words. Hey, there's a bar in the old theater district that's Parader's own combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Hey. His ties. Oh, Nick. Another stray coming in from the rain. Rage you're too late. Office is closed. Wait, who are you? You the detective? Me? No, I'm Nick's secretary. Handle his appointments, his papers, that sort of thing. Well, that's what I used to do anyway, but... 
Now Nyx disappeared, and I can't keep a detective agency open without a detective. Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Fights against the Institute. Where it is, something bad went down in the old museum of witchcraft up in the cell. 